So it's been officially one year of me living in New York. I moved out of my first apartment in Manhattan and moved into my new one in Brooklyn. And if you're interested in moving here, I figured I'd share the many ways you'll grow and change in New York City. Yes, I saw today, my one, there's three people you need to know. Your laundry lady, your barista, and your dumb guy. And luckily for me, my laundry lady became my go-to for any neighborhood gossip. My barista was a family at Spongy's who every time I came in, no matter who it was, they knew my exact order. And the deli that I lived on top of was a bun me shop. Whenever I had nothing to eat in my fridge, my deli guy would always hook me up with that good old spicy bun me. Two, know your trains. It's the most convenient, inconvenient way to get around the city. Three, it takes a long time to get anywhere. Distances are deceiving in New York. Five miles? Except that it'll probably take 40 minutes to get there. Four, say yes to the things that excite you. Five, say no to the things that will drain you. Contrary to popular advice, you don't have to say yes to every plan that there is. The good thing about living in New York is that there'll always be another plan available to you next weekend. Six, Go to the beach in the summer. Yes, New York has beaches. <laughs> Seven, go upstate when you can. New York is also a state. Eight, remember why you moved here. Because the city will give you a million reasons to forget. Nine, but will also give you a million reasons to stay. Guess who I saw today, my dear? And remember, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Yours truly, Trish.